here we are under the bonnet once again. Thankfully not having to repair anything right now, we're just going to be doing some regular maintenance and I'm actually going to show changing the air filter. The air filter is in this housing on the left hand side on the 2.5, this is an AXD engine. First things we'll need to do is uh, make sure the engine's off. We're going to disconnect this connector here, it's one of those kind of squeeze the tab on the back, squeezing it up, push the socket on firmly and then lift it off. Okay, you have to kind of push it further on, lift it off and it'll come off. Next thing we're gonna do is take this connector off. Now I've changed that for a Jubilee connector so I can undo it with a screwdriver, but you might actually have one of those kind of compression springs where you actually have to squeeze it to undo it. If you've got one of those, you're gonna need some long nose pliers to get on there and pinch it and slide it across. Or you can use your ring compressor. These compression tools make things much easier. You basically put the two tabs on the top of the ring inside this part squeeze the handles it compresses and locks it open then we can slide that ring off and pull that hose away but in this example having the jubilee clip there i find it easier to get off so we'll undo that slack it off a bit slide that over and give that a wriggle and that pops off like so so essentially that's all the kind of hard work we need to do what we need to do now is reach down and find the clips and unclip this top box so let's have a closer look and see whether we can find them okay so here we have the front clip reach down underneath it pull that forward and lift up and then we've got one around the back and i do believe there's just one at the front one down the back kind of have to reach down and feel for it once you've undone that, you should be able to wriggle and lift this box out. It is a little bit of a wriggle, we have to pull that over, but the whole box will lift out. And there we have the filter. Next step is to make sure we've got the correct filter. So check our replacement filter, looks to be about the right size. Now be aware if you're going to any kind of high street shops to buy these filters, I won't mention any names, but one in particular begins with how and ends with Fords. Um, they're really quite insistent on selling you some of the wrong filters. So I think although they recommend the right air filter, certainly the oil filter they recommend is not the correct filter. It's too long and if you try and pull it in the 2.5, it will compress and shatter inside the oil housing. So definitely want to get hold of these from a reputable seller that knows exactly what filters they're selling. Let's pull the old one out. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, still a bit of life in there, but we'll change it over anyway. Just drop the new one in. Might need a bit of a squeeze. Take our housing. Note that there's some tabs on the back here and these three sets of tabs need to sit down into some sockets. So we're actually gonna slot them in first. Pull your air duct out the way. Again, a bit of a wriggle. It might be a bit difficult to get them in because the filter is not compressed. So wiggle them in, make sure they are seated. And once it's definitely seated, we're just gonna reach down, chuck that tab over there. Find the one at the back. Lock it down, make sure everything's nice and firm. We'll then just slide this pipe back on. Bring that Jubilee clip back up and do that up and then we will plug the sensor plug back in and that's it job's done new air filter ready for another year um yeah 